Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up and use Admix to monetize your game. Admix have been sponsoring the channel for a while now, and you'll have seen in the intro to some videos I've shown what they do, but now I'm going to be showing you how to actually get it set up and use it for yourself. I hope you're looking forward to it, let's get started. So here we are on Admix's website, I'll put a link down below. And as soon as you turn up on the home page, if you want to get going, it's as easy as just clicking on Upgrade to Admix 2.0, which they've recently released. And then you just have to make an account. Now I already have one, so I'm gonna hit sign in and see you on the other side. So once you log in, you'll turn up on this dashboard. And for me, it's quite empty. I don't have any apps or any revenue. So to get started, we want to actually install the plugin for Unity. So if we go to the downloads, you see here we have Admix for Unity and for Unreal Engine and we're using Unity, so let's hit the blue download button. And I'll be showing you how easy it is to actually set it up in a project that you've already got that you've been working on. You don't have to start from scratch or anything. You can easily just open the Unity package. And in my case, I have a project open, so it'll just try and import the package, just import everything. Once it's done, you'll notice you have the Admix folder in your assets, and up here on the toolbar, you have an Admix option. And we can click that and hit open Admix. That'll then get you to sign in with Admix. So go ahead and enter your email and password and log in. Once you're done, it'll say, welcome to Admix. There is no app linked to this project. Create a new one or select one below. And we don't have any to select. So let's create a new app. And by default, it uses the name of your project. I've just changed it to be demo app. So I'm gonna go ahead with this and hit create and yes. Once it's done, it'll take you to the create page. And if you go back to your web browser and go to your apps, You'll notice we now have in the dashboard a demo app and it says my placements there are no placements and a placement is just an ad in your scene so let's go and create one back over into unity we see here we've got these different options there's quite a few and really you just pick the one that you want so in your scene you may have have setups like this so here's some examples on their website you know you've got on the side of buildings you've got these kind of posters here in a racetrack and a shop window the sports stadium over here on a sign in the middle of the city so wherever you want to put your ad you can you can do whatever you like so pick the ratio that works best for you so here we've got video and banner so obviously these are just static images for the banners so let's say a one by two as the ratio and here it is it just pops it into the scene so now you want to go and put it wherever you want so let's say on here we'll reset the rotation and i'll move it over here and I don't have anything like a building to put it on, but that's fine. We can see it's still working. So I'm going to put it, let's say, right here, just, just above the ground. And it's a one by two. And you can give it a name. So let's just call it Test Banner. And then we can hit Save. When you hit Save, it sets some stuff up. And then it lets you now create a new one. Or you can go to Manage and see it here, Test Banner. And you can even hit Go To and it takes you to it. It's got the mesh renderer for the banner and then some other scripts it puts on for you and links it all to Admix. Because now if we go over back to Admix on the website and we go and refresh, we'll notice we now have a placement called Test Banner and you can actually just turn it off if you want to disable it for some reason. Uh, like maybe your game's running and then you realize it's in the wrong place and you don't want to have to rebuild and export again, you can just disable it from here. You also have the option to choose categories that the ads will come from. Uh, so let's say over here we want to do a technology and computing ad and then there's all the subcategories here so let's say one about 3d graphics and while you're developing it actually doesn't use real ads it uses placeholders until you publish the app and then you can get real ads so it'll actually just be using a placeholder not a real tech and computing graphics ad but we can still see an action over here then back into unity to test this we can just dock this admix window up here or close it and then hit play. And what should happen is immediately the banner will be disabled to get rid of this kind of placeholder here. And then it'll actually do a request over the internet to go grab the ad. And because we're in dev mode, we're not actually grabbing real ads, but it does have a placeholder online. This image is not in my project. This is being grabbed from the internet. And there it is. So this is actually loaded in at runtime. And as you can see, this was really easy to set up. We literally just clicked create a new one by two or two by one, one by two. And then we just said, okay, give it this name and it's of this genre. Now keep in mind the genre isn't being used in development mode here where we're testing, but when you publish it is using real ads. And then 
we can easily go now, stop running, and we can say, okay, AdMix, let's create a new ad. And I want to make a video 16 by nine, add it to the scene. And then we can just go and stick this wherever we want. So let's put it over here. And we can just call this test video. We can then go back to AdMix and hit save. Go over to the dashboard and hit refresh. And we see here, we now have test video and it's of uh, genre, let's say travel, and then, I don't know, theme parks. It doesn't really matter because when we're testing, we don't actually see those kind of ads. But now back in Unity, we go back to the scene and we should be able to hit play and it will load for us a test video ad. So if we let it wait a second. So now we can see them loading in. So the image one should probably load first, I imagine, there it is. And then the video one could load in in a second. And there sometimes is audio with these ads. So we'll see what happens. Uh, you can remove the audio source completely if you don't want them to have audio. And you probably can't hear this, but yep, here we go. We've downloaded this ad here for AdMix. It's a placeholder and it's in the scene. So yeah, it's that simple to set up. We can now stop and you can even go and mess with, you can make custom materials and mess with the shaders for these to make them blend in more to your game. And you can of course tweak the settings like removing the audio from this if you don't want it, or you can make the video loop if you want. There's all these different things you can do. So yeah, if you're considering adding monetization to your game and you don't want those annoying pop-up ads that get in people's way, you can have these non-intrusive ads that just exist in your scene world and they're just there, you know? You still make money from ads and users don't get annoyed. And as you saw, I didn't even have to write any code. It's easy just to hit a few buttons and have the ads in the scene and have them working with the dashboard. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to go down below, check out the AdMix link if you're thinking about adding monetization into your game. Just have a little play around like I did, test some different sized ads, get it to actually work so it loads those ads for over the internet to show you the concept of how it works. And then if you wanna take it further, there's resources on the website to tell you how to take it live. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and subscribe. It would help a lot. Let me know down below what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.